Hi guys, Tristan here. It's a Friday and I'm out on another trek and this time I am, uh, take a look at this. I'm closing up this gate here. This is, uh, I decided it was all right. <laughs> and I don't know if it is or not, but here I am. Um, you're looking at a long uh, walkway out to a tori, a traditional style gate entrance to this shrine. And um, it says something heaven. You can read that one character. It's almost always used with shrines. Look at this. So this character right here in the middle means up uh, above like sky or heaven. Often means heaven. So here we are. It says December 3rd. Heisei, I think? Yeah. Here we are. This is probably the first time this has been on video. Oh wow, this thing has been uprooted behind it. Look at that. That big tree has fallen over. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, that's it. And here we are on the back of the uh, tori. And uh, it's a nice wood one too, isn't it? Sometimes they're made out of um, sort like some kind of fabricated material, you know. And there's koi in this pond. So yeah, it took me some courage to actually come down here because it certainly doesn't really look like it's, you know, accessible to the public, but there's nothing that says don't come in. And that seems to be the case when you're not allowed in. So I just kind of came in. And um, just to our left there, well, not that house, but just above it, and look at that, there's another thatched roof there. Um, there's a, uh, a bakery, a French bakery. And uh, I think a, a man who is French works there. He lives there with his wife, I imagine, who must be Japanese. Um, otherwise, you know, he wouldn't be in this area. So, um, his name is Thierry. Thierry? Thierry? And he, yeah, he must be French. He's got French all over his signs and everything. So, um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I just thought that was a really cool place. That's the gate I went through right there. Look at that. So, all right. Here at this shrine or uh, temple, and uh, not really sure where the entrance is. I'm gonna look around here. Suppose I can put my bike up here, take a look around. It's kind of big, isn't it? There's a road that goes out here. Yeah, I don't think I'll go in here. I come in from this side here. I like to not bother people as much as possible, and I, I think it's not against the rules to film and shrines and stuff and temples, but um, yeah, I, I maintain safety by not doing that when there are people around for myself and for others. I don't know enough about Japan to feel comfortable with that. At least we can go up to here. Wow, this is kind of nice. It's a very peaceful area. It's kind of a busy area, a lot of cars and things. Here's the entrance here to the main building. Very cool. I love it. And then opens up out into farmland here. And there's some kind of old stone here. Look at this stone. Huh. Looks so old, doesn't it? Anyway, I think I'll stop for there at this point here. So we're in some town area now, some city area. I don't know where we are, and I wonder. Uh, it could be, it could be Yachio Center or something. Uh, I haven't even read the signs yet, so it could be. Yeah, I'm not really sure. So here we are anyway. I'm here at Keisei Rose Garden. I'm, uh, oopsies. Glad I didn't go in at this point because <laughs> it's not the right time of year. I mean, you know, there's still stuff to see it looks like, but um, 
Boy, this is kind of a cheat, isn't it? Like, this is the Rose Plaza, it's called. And uh, you can come up on this deck here and take a look over the, uh, over the uh, garden. And uh, it's pretty. I mean, I imagine it would be quite lovely in the, uh, you know, when those roses are blooming. And they've got a number of varieties here, dozens if not, maybe even a couple hundred. Can't remember what I read, but yeah, this is this is what it is at this time of year. It's still, I think not even officially spring, or it's just around the corner. So yeah. Anyway, this is what it looks like up here. Nice area. I think I'll sit down and have a bite to eat. But yeah, nothing nothing going on really. <laughs> Nice to see nonetheless. I think I'll come back when it's better off. So we're here along the Shin River. Uh, we're gonna head down to Tokyo Bay from here and hope that we can make it. <laughs> pretty tired so I'm gonna take it slow I think. Uh, let's come down to the river here. Nice little steps here. What do we have here? Nothing special. Nice warbler. Nice uh, couple down here fishing. Older couple. Look at the grass coming out of these poles here in the water. I like that. I head down this trail here, see if we can uh, take a look at this uh, capsized boat or submerged boat. Is that an animal's box? hills here. They're the same kinds of hills upon which buildings are constructed. So I'm wondering kind of if this is a biking course, perhaps. Maybe. So we're going to take a look here and uh, decide what they are. Clearly there's a path here. Hey guys, we're at uh, a park in Yachio City. This is, I'm not sure the name of it, but it's got this big uh, tower from which water flows. And uh, since I've only begun coming here, well, I've been here once before, and it's been since the coronavirus, uh, I haven't had the chance to see the water flowing, but um, it's the bathrooms as I divert my camera away from the people. Um, but yeah, I, so I haven't seen the water flow yet, but it is a lovely, uh, kind of fountain. So let's uh, park up here and see if we can get a closer look. I'm interested to see how it works because that's quite a height from which water falls. Look at this thing. Pretty spectacular. Can you imagine the water pouring out? Maybe there's music and stuff. Looks like it's bubbling. See? Okay, I see the water's flowing. It goes down into that pool down there. Looks like some salt down there or something interesting. Yeah, I wonder... I see, so they just keep pumping the water, is the idea. And then this is uh, some kind of sports center or something, I suppose. Not really sure. Anyway, there it is. These guys are doing skateboarding over here. This is uh, not a common sight around our area. So it's kind of nice that there is one in uh, in this park. Check this thing out. It's quite a uh, structure. Amazing uh, climbing thing in this park here. The confluence of these two rivers. Quite a lovely spot here. A lot of birds down there.
ただいまご紹介いただきました、えー、千葉市議会議長の岩井でございます、えー、今、えー、関正幸候補がですね力強い約束をしていただきましたこれは市と It's a rare chance to get to see some politicians at work here. We're looking at a uh, speech being given here. I think it's pretty neat to see. They're doing construction over here, all sorts of things. <laughs> We're at my favorite place here along the, now it's the Hanami River. It, it changes names from the Shin River to the Hanami River. So this is now the Hanami River and also known as the Kami River, I think. I think it might have two names. Um, because lower down it's called Kimi River Beach when we reach Tokyo Bay. Um, I came here once before and um, just thought it was lovely. And I think it's beautiful now too. That tree is wonderful. It's best at sunset. Can you imagine that big, those big wire towers and everything in the setting sun? And this water is going to start to come alive I bet with uh, coming uh, spring and summer. So it's, it's just beautiful, I love it here. I think I'll do a time-lapse photography scene here. Anyway, fishermen, a couple of fishermen down there. I'm gonna take a break, see you soon. So I'm up on this bluff now looking for a shrine or a temple, whatever the case is. Um, and I really don't know where it is. That might have been the road over there. I just saw one. I don't know. Can you help me? <laughs> where is it? We are up here quite a ways. It's, I don't know if you can kind of get a sense of it. There doesn't look to be any kind of entry point for any kind of you would think there'd be more right of of a sign that there was a, a shrine here we go down this hill got my strong brake hand on uh, there's a graveyard over there i don't know if you can see that or not Take it slow here. There's a little driveway here. Man. And then there's something here. Oh, wow. You know what? I wonder if that's it. I'm going to walk a little bit here. It's really hard to tell sometimes where these places are. Is this it? Let's take a look. It's either a nice house or a... Here's a little... Nope, that's not it. Man, alive. I'm trying to figure out where this temple is. Well, we'll keep looking and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye. I'm going to see if this is it here. I decided that this is the right way. Sure is an odd way to get to any place, though. I don't know about this. Oh, man, look. There's something up here. Nah, that's not the one, is it? For real? Huh. Look. All right, we're going through. Here we go. I don't like to walk my bike through here, but... Um, are we just looking at a single graveyard here? I think we might be. Is there an exit? I can't believe it if there is. You never know with these places. No. People seem to have... I don't know where this uh, temple is. I really don't. This is kind of creepy, isn't it? Yeah, that wasn't the right way. I'll try to find another way. I might not get another chance here to uh, find anything, so... I'm gonna come up to this place. Looks like a little shrine here. And um, yeah, I really don't know where those stairs leading up were. This is kind of cool. Hey, I might have found it though. Wow, this is kind of cool. Check this out. Hey, this could be it. You know, it's hard to tell from up, but that's a pretty building. Huh, nice dragon up there. Just 
walk around here. Uh-oh. I think we might have found it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Look at these statues here. Man, big old steps. They've been laid uh, fairly recently. I don't know that this is it. Hope I don't have to do much climbing after this. Getting a little tired here. Well, here's quite a stairway, as you can see. But I don't think it's the one that I was looking for. That's the one right there. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's where I wanted to go. Do we have to go? <laughs> well, that was a goal, wasn't it? So, well, I'm gonna be tired tonight, but I'm gonna go for it, man. I've been wanting to go here for some time. It's been on my bucket list, so I'm going for it. I'll see you on the way up. <laughs> So here we are at this place, and you can see how far up the stairs go. It's called Sua Shrine in Obisha. According to the legend in AO2, Shogun Saka no Ue no Tom Tamura Maro. <laughs> Tamura Maro thanked the god of Sua Taisha Shrine in modern day Nagano Prefecture for the successful conquest of the Tohoku region by establishing this branch shrine in the Nagasak Nagasaku area on his way back to the capital. Every year on February 11th, people used, used to pray for a bountiful harvest and held a some ceremony called Obisha, in which an arrow shot by a bow was used to predict that year's harvest. It also included an event to eat together the food that God provided. Currently, Oshisha, oh is it Oshisha? They said Obisha here and they said Os Oshisha here. Oshisha ceremonies are held, um, events are held every year on the 11th. And that's a translation from the, the third month of 2018. So this is what we're looking at. There's a couple of dudes at the top, so I think I'll, I'll just film myself. How's that? That'll work. Yeah. So I, um, I hope my bike's okay. It's right there, see? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not locking it up. There's no place to park. So I'm looking forward to seeing this place. And uh, yeah, I think I'll take a rest for now. See you at the top. Bye -bye. Past those guys there, having an interesting conversation about something. And uh, here we are, uh, excuse my loss of breath here. Uh, here we are uh, approaching the, the shrine. It's called the Suwa Shrine. And I saw this. I don't know, about a year or so ago, maybe a little less than that, here atop this hill, I saw the, the stairway leading up. And uh, so I just headed over. I was on the wrong hill just before this. And that was silly of me. I didn't know. I thought maybe I was on the right one. But anyway, I'm on the right one now. Look at this old signboard. And uh, here's a stone inscription. And I'd like to take a look at the view here. Wow, it's pretty high up here. I mean, we really did climb a lot of stairs for that. Cool. And that's the, you can't really see the river, but along there is the uh, Hanami River. And at least I know that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know much, but I do know the name of that river. I'm trying to learn my geography in just one place before I learn about other prefectures and stuff. I like the specifics. Look at this dragon. That is cool. Looking over the uh, washing basin. Purification area. Oh, it's automatic. It says it says from the dragon's mouth. Let's look at this sign together. Uh, dragon, eto, 
Do you know Kuchi Yori? Something maybe washing your hands. で、水を何か助けえっと使って、maybe ください。You, it, it, I think what I think what it means is use this water. I wonder if I can drink it. I'm thirsty as hell. It's cool. Let's wash our hands a little bit. I'm not into the ceremonies, but we can act like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Look at these. The drink. The claws are gold. I'm gonna try. I don't think it's drink cold now. Doesn't taste very good. I'm thirsty. I forgot to bring enough water. Look at this shrine. Don't tell anybody I drank that water, huh? <laughs> of course, now internationally people will know what I've done. Oh, look, you can buy little omomori, like protective talismans, looks like. Those are often on sale at shrines. Let's walk around the side, shall we? Nobody's here. Oh yeah, this is the best part. Behind the behind the main building, there's often this altar, this engraved uh, wooden building, and it's just fabulous. Look at this. Look at that engraving. Isn't that magnificent. Wow, cool. Very cool. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Take some photos and head back down. See you soon. Thought maybe I'd film a little bit as we head back down this way. I want to show you the the way out. Those guys are still there chatting. Must be good friends or something. Boy, that dragon was cool, wasn't it? There was one dragon on the washing basin. On the what is it? Like a ritualistic purification place. And uh, yeah, that dragon was really spitting out that water. Automatic dispenser. I've never seen that before. Boy, look at the sun, huh? Lovely. Stand up here. This is the stairway down. That's a lot of steps. Beautiful. There it is, right there. And then the river. See that bridge over there is going over the river. We'll be home soon. Bye bye. My bike's still there. <laughs> what if it wasn't? Can you imagine if it was gone? My God. What, what, you know how long that would be to walk home? It's like, it's gonna take me a good hour and a half at least from here to get home. But if I had walked, it would have taken five to six hours at least. So, thank God it's still there, huh? Anyway, cool place, huh? Glad we got to go there together. That's where we were. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. I uh, am at the last part of the Hanami River. Oh, this, this guy's taking a picture of his dog up ahead. That's cute. He's got a nice white dog up there. Um, I'm uh, really tired and I'm at the end of this river and I'm doing this uh, video just to show you how tired I am. <laughs> I've done this for the viewers now. That's not completely true. In fact, these videos are as much for me as they are for you. I'm gonna end up at Kimi River Beach and then hopefully I'll get a nice sunset there. Maybe do a little time-lapse photography and uh, yeah, and then maybe just sleep on the ride home. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you soon. Bye. Well, not technically. <laughs>